Hey everybody. So today we're going to go over the research paper Deep Seek Prover V2 Advancing Formal Mathematical Reasoning via Reinforcement Learning for Subgoal Decomposition. And it's, as you can see, put out by Deep Seek AI. This particular research paper is interesting to me overall. The bottom line and the most upfront statement that I will make with regards towards this research paper is that I have like directly made arguments against this research paper, like against uh, that, like this would be feasible or possible to, to like um, do within transformer architecture. And then, so I do want to like highlight and mention that overall and, and, and upfront, right? Like um, oftentimes I don't like um, engage in like um, debates, like, or like um, arguments over, back and forth around these things, even though I, I am like <laughs> obviously producing content and, and um, talking about these things overall, but I try to take a, like a generalized stance um when it comes to these things right i try to like my stance is is like um i have my own opinions and i have like uh, what i think is true and what is not true but i try to stick with like what is like the actual like what's it working in, in practice right <laughs> like what's uh like beyond the theory like uh i can talk about my theory you can talk about your theory but like what actually works right and that's what i try to stick to within these things and then so within what <clears throat> actually works we're looking at uh, an example here of the deep seek paper where they are essentially um, grounding a model and the reasoning, the mathematical reasoning of a model, and then getting it to formalize its mathematical reasoning overall. Right. And it's interesting because so uh, by default, it's known now, like, and it's well known that the models don't utilize uh, formal mathematical reasoning when it comes to mathematics, right? They use like blended mathematics and, and like, blended probability theory and like a whole bunch of different like calculations like that are are not um they're all probabilistic right but then so the question then becomes can you actually get them to formalize math and then again like i will be 100 percent upfront in that like if you had asked me this question before the research paper like if, if i had had this conversation then my answer would be that no you wouldn't be able to do this but obviously we're looking at it and um i can show you that it works right and then the this um, diving into this and it, it brings up another question for me and a deeper question within this is that like it works in some models, but not in others. And then so um, how would you label that as reasoning? Like, how would you not label that as reasoning is the question that I want to pose within that. And I'll dive deeper into that when I showcase that overall. Right. But talking about exactly what the research paper itself uh, highlights and showcases that it's so their method is very straightforward right it's essentially uh, you take a, um, a logical proof a logical problem and then it has the model and it trains the model via reinforcement learning to create um, smaller proofs to build up to the bigger formal proof right so you take the large proof and then like the the training is to break it into small steps and then like into like let's say like five proofs and then each of those five proofs would come together to form like a larger theorem right which is very common like that's how uh, research papers are, are generally constructed right overall and then so uh that's uh the whole point is, is it can these models do that? And then can they train the models overall to do that? And then so they, they utilize um, DeepSeq in this instance, and then they they create a version of the DeepSeq model um, that is able to do this process, right? That That is able to do essentially formalized mathematics and formalized theorem proving of mathematics. And that's the interesting um, and relevant thing within this paper, right, is that these models are essentially doing formalized theorem proving within this paper. Um, and then so uh, their training process is very interesting within this. It's all, it, it's a chain of thought, right? So it does boil down like, uh, chain of thought has been around for a few years on like the high end, high ends of research. And uh, like all of like the deep reasoning, things like that, they're all just like, to me, like, um, modifications of chain of thought and like uh continuations of chain of thought I've, I've thought from the beginning like the the like only like formalized uh construction as far as like an actual model that i've ever put together and i never fully trained it <laughs> was called cock cog uh chain of thought cog right uh and then like very specifically because of like uh, like uh and that was like two and a half years ago three years ago uh, but like very specifically because like chain of thought i've always thought is the way to go within these things but so within this they their two-stage uh, training process is the high efficiency non-chain of thought or non-cot mode 
Uh, and then this mode is optimized for the rapid generation of formal lean proof codes focusing on producing concise proofs without explicit intermediate reasoning steps. And then they do a secondary tra uh, training stage of high precision uh, train of thought or caught mode. And then this mode uh, systematically articulates intermediate reasoning steps, emphasizing transparency and logical progression before constructing the final formal proofs. And then so they just, you know, go through um, and then that's the training process. It's, it, it is a reinforcement learning process. Uh, and then they utilize DeepSeq, the, uh, the DeepSeq model. And then from that, they did, they distill the DeepSeq Prover V1.5 B uh, base uh, 7B, which is like the model that they've distilled and are showcasing within this particular research paper. And then they benchmark it out across different benchmarks with regards uh, towards reasoning tasks, right? So tree search methods, uh, Olympiad math, and, and like different benchmarks. And it's it, we can see like the best, like the biggest thing is it's it's uh, increasing its uh, accuracy quite dramatically um, on on these tests, right? And then you can see I'll show you exactly how the training is is working overall um, within this. So it's it's pretty straightforward um, as to like this reinforcement learning mechanism and the training that. Uh, that it does, um, and I can see like via other research how this method would be um, effective in um, increasing the performance of these models to this degree um, via this method. And then so it's interesting overall, but so. Let's dive into the code here behind it. Um, so first of all, I, I want to point out that they do, uh, in this instance, uh, give like their uh, whole GitHub repository here, and then they do offer a quick start. And then I have the quick start here for you in the the um, uh, collab that I run here as well. Um, and then they have they give you the models as well as the data set. So um, they have the seven B model as well as if anybody can run this, uh, they have a six hundred and seventy one B model as well. So uh, wow. Like, I mean, like, uh, wow. <laughs> if you, if you run that, if anyone's ever run that 671 B model, it'd be cool. It'd be cool. Let me know. Um, but so, uh, looking at the code here. And so I, in this notebook, I have, I give you like, Two methods, right? I give you the one that they provide you, their quick start uh, as a second method. And then, but in this, in the first notebook, I'm utilizing the Quen, I utilize Quen 3 0.6b, so very small model. And then, like, uh, I want to point out something within this, right? Within this particular model. And then, so this is just like what their, like, their formalized process that they utilize. Uh, and it's overall, I mean, essentially the same process um, that they utilize for their quick start, where uh, so it's, I asked the model to decompose the theorem, and then in this instance, it's Quen 0.6b, um, and then uh, I provide the theorem, and then the lean proof, and if it's down here is the proof, like, uh, here's the theorem, um, and then so here's the theorem right here, and then I just ask it to, like, uh, essentially, like, uh, utilize inductive steps, uh, and then utilize inductive reasoning in order to create, like, a smaller and formalized, like, smaller formalized proofs, right? Um, and then I go through, um, and then I, I ask it to like uh, construct and, and and to to um, try to uh, do this right. And then I get just errors all over, like decom decomposition fail, decomposition complete, uh, have failed. Sorry. Uh, basically, the end result is is that like the uh, and then this is like our our end output right, which is like um, it tries, <laughs> but uh, the. Bottom line here is is that it fails all the way through these steps, right? Which I mean, to me, it's anticipated because I'm using Quen 0.6b um, in this instance, right? And then so uh, this is, and and you can go through and you can see all all, all of the failures, and it, it tries. This is again the the output that it gets at the end, um, and then this is their their like uh, how they say to structure it out. I just stopped it because I knew it's gonna like it's it's calling a 7b model, and I'm not even running it. I wasn't even running it. I was just, I was just running it with standard. Uh, collab CPU, so I knew it was going to run into issues, so I'd like uh, memory issues before it loaded. But I just wanted to make sure it would load, and it does load if you have or if you set this to like a uh, proper GPU uh, and you have the proper GPU to handle a 7B model, um, the DeepSeq 7B, which isn't like it's not um, extreme. Like this could run on consumer hardware, just high end consumer hardware, uh, and probably not the free T4, um, like the the free Google Collab, like. Um, but so, uh, Within this, this is essentially what we get uh, as the outputs here. And then the bottom line that I want to point out and what is significant to me is that this model fails every single step of this, which is anticipated, right? And then it's anticipated if the model is actually reasoning, if there's what, if there's any semblance of what we would call 
reasoning within these models, it's expected to me that um, the 0 0.6 billion parameter model is not going to be able to handle it. Like it just not like I'm asking it too much to, to do within this instance, right? It's just like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and, and then, so just to verify that, like I just run this same thing through Grok, right? I say, are you able to perform what this code does? And I just give it all of the code, right? And just, I mean, I'm just literally just copy pasted the code. That's it. Right? Uh, and it says like, yes, I can perform the functions of the code, functionality of the code, uh, and then it does, right? And then it, it goes through and it breaks it down, uh, and then it's, it, and, and it says like, and it very specifically states that it's performing this uh, via like reasoning that it's not actually executing the code, which is what I want, right? Uh, but it gives that, that like, um, and states that multiple times within this, but it gives the outputs, right? And it gives, see, my outputs are based on reasoning rather than the model generation, so they may differ slightly in style from Quen 3.6b's responses. Uh, blah 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 but so i mean it's doing what i want right which is uh take this and then it, um create the formal logical proofs like like, like the the you know uh sub sub proofs and, uh and then go through uh and and it does um exactly that and it goes through and then it's like um it points out that like uh i i need to fix a little bit of the logical construction of this uh this logical proof that i have set up here and uh, up here as well too so that's cool like that it's able to point that out uh and and uh <laughs> go through the logic enough to be able to point that out so it points out i mean basically bottom line to me is see verification fails due to sorry as shown above because i need to fix some of the logic within it but so it, it like in order for it to get through that and go through that it has to complete the process overall right and then so the bottom line within that and and to me is is that uh you have a small model, like we'll say a not as capable model is failing this task 100%. Um, and then we have a much like, like the, the largest model that we, we generally have access to. Uh, and it's doing the task no problem. One is failing the task, one is doing it no problem. The difference is, is like compute power, like, like reasoning capability, et cetera, right? And Coincidentally, this is a reasoning task that we're asking the model to perform on here. So just like point, it's interesting overall that like the smaller reasoning model is not able to actually reason out whether or not you want to classify it as reasoning. To, like that's why I don't like getting into like the debates over these things, right? Because so to me, at this point, what we've shown and in, in, in the example of this is a real world example of what is occurring here. From this point and then from that moment forward and from this moment forward, people can and will put their own definitions onto these things, right? There'll be a group of people that will disagree and say that this is none of this is reasoning whatsoever. And that's totally fine. Right? Like if, like you think that that's totally fine. You're welcome to that etc there'll be a group of people that will say like this is beyond reasoning or you know, etc like there'll be all different opinions on this and it's all opinions from there but like to me it's like just looking at the the actual experimentation within this right and the actual experimentation what we're looking at here can't be debated the fact that um the 6b mod the 0.6b model fails were on a reasoning task that we're looking at whereas a stronger reasoner in this instance doesn't fail the task and this research paper overall shows that this what we would call reasoning and and define as a reasoning is actually uh the models are actually capable of it and then just because they default to a um probabilistic blend of mathematics that isn't able to be decomposed doesn't mean that they can't follow other uh, logical strings and paths within that. Um, and so I'll leave a link to both this uh, collab research paper, which has a link to the GitHub directly to it, and then as well as the collab that I have here. Uh, and if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.